Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, I finally got it to the wall. I finally got it to the wall. Oh, oh, oh. I have been dragging something all the way out there. Like you guys seen, I've been chucking the magnet. I have been dragging something. My back is shot. Yeah, <laughs> what up y'all and welcome back to another one. Another fabulous magnet fishing video coming at y'all. And I have something, I have, I have a big secret to show y'all here. Y'all have been begging for Fred. Come on, buddy, he's back. Just for the day, that's it, yeah, I know. Come on, buddy. We just have him for the day, just to get him out here, just to do some magnet fishing with old Freddy. He's been at the trainer, oh, look at you, marking your territory already, buddy. Just as long as it isn't my tire, it's usually my tire. Come here, Frederick, come here, buddy. Y'all have missed him, sit, sit. He's doing really good in training. The trainer has nothing but good things to say. He has been doing amazing, but he's gonna hang out with us today and then he's gonna go back to the trainer right when we're done, aren't you, buddy? Today, this is where we're starting, y'all. Right here, a local fishing pond, public fishing area. Lots of kids, lots of fishermen on this dock. Let's just hope they lost something. But before we get going here, I wanna tell you guys over at Ducks Waterfowl, all the Freedom gear, the Freedom Mallard, Cup Mallard hoodie, all, all of our Freedom gear that we've always had, Cupped Freedom Mallard hoodie, shirts, hats, everything. We brought it back and the sale, it is all on sale, y'all. Do not miss this sale. It'll be on sale the 20th, June 20th through July 5th. 15% off all of the Freedom gear that has ever existed. Back for like, what? what's that, two weeks? You ready to go, buddy? You wanna get in the water real quick, huh? What do you think, Fred? You ready to get in? Come on, buddy. Here, let's go cool off. Oh, Freddy, I've been missing him. Go on, buddy, get, go on, go on. Go cool off. He's like, you didn't throw anything for me, Dad. You're just supposed to go get in, man. Here, Fred, here, here. Look, 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 go get it. Ha, 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 there you go, buddy. Come here, there's nothing out there. Here, here, come on. Old Fred, look, old dad, he's getting after it. Wasting no time to get the one up on old Bob. <laughs> come on, Fred, let's go. But here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. We're here, we're ready. The three amigos are back. We missed you, buddy. We have missed you. I think, uh, you think Fred will bring us good luck today? I think he will. I think he will too. I, I think he's needing your attention. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's been missing me. He misses you. A bunch. Yeah. But today, we're gonna be doing some dock jumping. We're gonna, we're gonna dock jump and then we're hitting an old railroad bridge, y'all. Yeah, this railroad bridge has been here since the 1950s and still used today. Right, right. A lot of people will go fishing off of it, walking across it. But it's a, it's not used for, it's an abandoned railroad bridge, right? It, they don't use it for a train anymore, do they? Yep. Oh, a train does go across it? Yep. I thought it was, a, was completely abandoned. It's an old one, but it's still used. Gotcha. Well, we'll get there eventually, Fred. Let's get to jigging our magnet. Well, we got some kids playing here over across the pond. Well, that ain't too deep. I thought it was a lot deeper than that. That ain't bad. That's the problem. This, I remember this place, a lot of silt. Yeah. That is some deep mud. Goodness gracious, that is a ton of mud. Wow. Hi, right, buddy. Hi, right, buddy. <laughs> oh Fred, he's just sitting here watching dad. He's missed me a ton. Uh, when I got him from the trainer today, old Charlie, he was like, buddy, he's going to be happy to see you. He's missed you. I've missed him too. Hi, my good boy. Hi. Hi, buddy. Look at the back of his ears. The flies have been getting him pretty bad in his outdoor kennel. We put a, uh, see that? Healing up pretty good, but uh, we put a fan in his kennel to help keep the flies off of him. It should help. But I went around this whole dock. Uh, there is like literally a foot of silt on the bottom of this. Oh, do we have something? What do we have here? We got a hook and a piece of line, and then we got a piece of metal of some sort. Nothing special. And dad's chucking already. <laughs> You're already chucking the old magnet? Well, there is something right there that's mag it's metal. Yeah. 
but it doesn't stick all that well. I can bob it, but it's down in the sewer. Yeah, this this dock with there, there being this much silt down there, it makes it tough. Yeah, it really it does. does. You can get something; it's just so buried in in the mud. Literally, if you dropped, let's say, a brick, right? If you dropped a brick and you left it for one week, it'd be two foot down in that silt. You know what I'm saying? So that's what rock hard bottoms not rock bottoms but hard you know soil bottoms are the best things that you can do even sandy bottoms that way the uh objects they don't sink down in there so we're going to give it just a little more time here and then we're going to move to the next dock before we get to the old railroad bridge this old railroad bridge first time i seen it i was like oh boy that looks interesting so we'll get there eventually well this is where i'm at now uh, around this building here. You got something? Well, Dad's got something. What do you got, bud? What do you got? You know that feeling when something just hits your mag? Click oh, yeah, it clicks. Magnet. You can feel it click. What do you got, bud? What do you got? Ooh! The mud. Look at you. Those are not very old at all. They're broke. Yeah, somebody chucked them because they broke. Uh, yeah, they're definitely all broke, but it's been in well, hey, you even got a Corona extra. <laughs> Look at that. And a hook. Two hooks. Well, what the heck? Look at that one. Where'd you find that? Just right here. Did you chuck it again? Yeah, I chucked it out there. Oh, be darn. And an old hook. Well, you just got the good first find of the day. An old can opener. Look at that. Been in there not for very long. Huh. Well, Frederick, you're a good looking dog. Finally, Dad's got something. We're on the board. All I found is random chunks of metal. That's it. Good find, Dad. Good find. Yeah. You're, you're definitely in the lead. Some days you find very little. Some days aren't all that spectacular. It's still fun. Yeah, it's still fun. That's the thing about it, guys. Uh, we're just we're just now getting the video going but i want to give you guys some inspiration if you guys have gotten out there and you have tried magnet fishing and not found anything spectacular just keep at it you will find it eventually get out there have fun doing it if you're not having fun doing it there's no reason to be out there you know what i'm saying nothing see look at me i'm getting my butt whooped fred i'm getting my butt whooped fred Felt something click there. What's that? Another piece of that odd metal, same metal as earlier. There's a staple, metal staple. Some old, just chunks of metal on there. That's it. Well, you ready, Fred? We're in the heart of the city now. Come on, buddy. Here, Fred. Uh, Dad and I, we have not been here for, uh, I don't know, well, it's been well over a year. It was last summer when we came down here. This is what we got going on. Ooh, look at all the trash. Yikes. Well, you can tell people I've been down here. That's a good sign. This is a, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, there's clothes down here? What in the world? So this is a uh, creek. A lot of you have seen this creek. Some of you haven't. There's probably a lot of you that haven't. Uh, we've caught some crazy stuff out of this little creek. Lots of trash. My goodness, lots of trash. But anyways, the creek uh, snakes around and goes under a couple roads. And this right here, we have found some pretty good treasures out of here before, haven't we? We found, I can't remember where that coin came from. It was it was a metal coin. Oh, no, it was a New Zealand coin. New Zealand coin out of here. Yep, we sure did. Hey, look behind you there. Your life matters. That's the way it should be. <laughs> That's the way it should be. Thank you very much. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. We're just jumping around different spots today seeing what we can come up with but we're still going to hit that railroad bridge here in just a bit fred here here buddy sit sit down that's a good boy that's a good boy this is your first time down here freddy yeah this is your first time down here buddy we're we gonna find anything huh first pull up oh look at that a bobby pin that's ironic <laughs> i got a bobby pin dad bobby pin. got a bobby pin i got a screw i got an old nail uh, another old nail yep just a lot of junk freddy i just felt something go click yeah buddy what's this <laughs> uh that is 
is in fact, looks like a sprinkler, like a sprinkler wand, I believe. Huh, look at the end of that thing. Yeah, I would say a sprinkler attachment or something there. You might have to, you guys might have to help me down in the comment section. There we go, biggest item of the day. Bucket material, bucket material. Well, if you guys are liking today's video, we haven't got anything too exciting. Smash that thumbs up button for dad and I and for old Frederick McGee. Sit down, buddy, sit down. You're just a good old Dudley. A lot of you have been asking what type of dog Fred is. He is a pure blood lab, but he is a Dudley lab. All Dudleys have uh, pink fair skin instead of the dark noses and the dark skin. So he's a special dog. He's a good looking boy. What you reckon this is? What'd you get, dude? I don't even want to know. <laughs> Probably something better than me. Uh, let's see here. What is that? That is, that's a keychain, I would say. Oh, I bet it is. It's, that's a soccer ball keychain. How about it? Yep. That's my guess. I thought it was an earring at first, that's but it uh, looks like a soccer ball keychain, I would say. Check it out. Good find, Dad. Well, Good I'm find. Soccer mom. Soccer mom. Okay, so this is the third bobby pin that I have found down here. Uh, why all the bobby pins? Someone help me understand why so many of these bobby pins. I have no idea. What do you got? What's that? I don't know what that is. Let me see it. They're right there. What's that? Hmm. Round piece of metal. Do you have bobby pins too? Those are. Nope, no bobby pin. I found three bobby pins. Why so many? Why so many of these? They literally people come down here and swim, or hmm. <laughs> there you go, dude. You're finding the whole kitchen today. We got a can opener. Dad finds a spoon. I can now go to Taco Bell and eat my beans. <laughs> my beans, my Frito <laughs> pie. Oh, you are. You're finding the whole kitchen drawer and some today, <laughs> Dad. Huh. A spoon. I think we found a spoon down here a long time ago. That's weird. Ha ha. I figured out where all the bobby pins come from. Check it out. That's a little kid's play park. And it has a major runoff that drains down right here. Here, Fred. Right down here. Check it out. Right here. Guarantee you, all the bobby pins come from the play park, go through the gutter, and end up right here. So, you know what your boy's gonna do. We're gonna put the magnet in right here, Fred. You ready, buddy? Uh, and he's ready for anything. He don't care. He's just with dad, finally. Let's see if we can find anything right here. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Ooh, that feels good on the feet, boys. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, croc life. I'll tell you what. If you've been debating on buying you a pair of them Crocs, you need to. Best summertime shoe in the world. I'm about to pull up a Rolex watch, Dad. <laughs> Let's see if we got anything. Nada. I lie, I keyed, I lie, I joke, I keyed. <laughs> watch it every time we throw a magnet in, watch old Fred. It ain't for you, bud, it ain't for you. He's like, can I get in, Dad? Can I get in there? Fred, get in there, go, go. Oh, he says, oh, this is what, I, he's an otter, dude. I'm telling you, uh, that dog has retrieved so many ducks in the water. He's an otter. That's a good Frederick. Does dad have anything? Let's check her, Frederick. Uh, nothing. Okay, well, it's about time to move spots, dad. Let's go. Well, look where we're at. You know, some days are better than others when it comes to magnet fishing. Yeah, I've never done this before. Yeah, this is dad's first, time, first time uh pigeon trapping. All right, look, this, this is the rundown. We were, today dad was like, where do you want to go? And I'm like, you know what? Let's just stay around home. We haven't magnet fished around home in our own town here for well over a year, the, the beginning of last summer. And it just shows 
Uh, if you guys have done that and you guys haven't had much luck, you have to get out there. That's the thing is get out there where, where, where nobody's magnet fished before, at least where you think where nobody's magnet fished before. And that's what we didn't do today. We uh, checked out the railroad bridge and nada. Nada. <laughs> nada. It, it was a no-go. No. Nope. We might make the kids happy, grand, my grandkids happy today by bringing them home some pigeons to put in their pigeon, pigeon coop. Right. Because they love it. Yeah, they, they love their pigeons. But dad's never been pigeon trapping. Uh, we're going to check my rooftop, then Jordan and I's rooftop, and uh, show dad what it's all about. How to trap pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Magnet fishing, pigeon trapping mixed together. Do y'all like it? If so, you got to let us know. It's something new. Well, we're here. Those things will wear you out, won't they? I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people in the videos all the time, those stairs, they'll kick your butt real quick. Man, somebody needs some training, cardio, up and down. <laughs> right up and down. there. Well, here we go. See what we got, if anything, nothing. My goodness. No, absolutely nothing. Well, that's not what's supposed to happen. Did you always have a, a bait bird in there? I did, yeah, and I took them out because they needed a break. Right. And uh, just starting fresh again, and we got nothing. Let's head to the next roof. All of my magnet fishermen out there, though, if you're new to the to my pigeon hunting shenanigans, Dad, this is your first time up here. Oh, first uh, time. I, I, I trap pigeons up here. Uh, long story short, see this one right here? Yep, pigeon. They gather, there's tons of them. There's thousands upon thousands of pigeons in my hometown here. And this rooftop is a magnet and I have trapped hundreds in this trap right here. Holy smokes, y'all. Goodness. I'm about sick of driving for the day, are you? We've been driving and driving and driving and driving. I know. Come on, Fred. Let's go, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. So what happened? This is the story here. Uh, we got started and stayed in town and we hit some iffy spots. Now, what I mean by iffy spots, spots that we've been to in the past and they just didn't produce, but it had been a while since we'd been there, so we tried it out. We were gonna go to an old railroad bridge. We went and looked at it and uh, there was no water There was no there. water. It was really high and there's no water underneath, underneath it. Yeah. And there was just a lot of people gathered down there. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Maybe we'll hit it at a different time. There was a bunch of people and we would have been making a scene. There was, it just wasn't as juicy as I thought it would be. So we made a run. We are 45 minutes away from home. We have not been here this year, this year, especially Frederick. But the, here we are. We got a dock and we got a new plan for y'all. By the way, y'all have been liking the, you know, 25, 30 minute videos. I have yet to put up a 30 minute video. If y'all like the longer magnet fishing videos, they gotta let us know. Tell them, Dad, tell them. We're gonna start making longer videos and there is a spot that we're gonna go to possibly next week that we've never been to together. And I think it's gonna make a really good video. We're gonna hit this dock, then we're gonna hit that dock way over yonder. And then we have a new dam to go to. We just checked it out and I think it'll be good. It's a big old dam. Let me tell you. It's actually a nice one. I like it. It's shaded, a lot of water running over it. Oh, yeah. And you can tell there's a lot of fishermen that go down there because there's a lot of bobbers and string in the trees over it. Oh, yeah. High traffic areas. Let's get to it. Here, friend, go get it. Oh, that feels good, buddy. It wasn't as deep as I thought. Well, here we are. New dock, new plan. That's my thing. We, me and dad, we just didn't catch enough this morning. I'm like, dad, we got to go. We got to make these fellas and these gals, boys and gals all alike out there watching the videos. We got to make a better video for y'all. So here we are. Full send today, boys. If something ain't working, try something new. That meant drive 45 miles. <laughs> oh, and it's 45 miles back to home. So you do the math. We're out here putting on the miles for y'all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're in the money. First bottle cap of the day. Dad, can you guess what brand it is? What type of beer we got? I'm going to say Bud Light. Oh, 
winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> that was a good call. Good call. Well, there we go. First bottle cap of the day, me and dad. Boy, it's a grind today. Let me tell you, boys and gals, what uh, dad and I, we're getting after it. This is uh, what we've resorted to already. You know the drill. No, oh, look at that. I'm beating you today, boy. Look at that. That's a good looking sinker right there. Been all over this dock already and I ain't getting nothing. <laughs> I think I found the cheat code. Just standing on my rope here, launching her out that way. That's it. Well, old Fred, he said, dad, I'm getting in. I don't blame you, dude. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Climb, buddy. You can do it. Come on. Come on, Freddy. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. I'll help you in a minute, boy. Nothing. All right. Come on, Fred. Ready? Oh, well, come here, dude. Here, Fred. He can't get up on the dock very well. Here. Oh, there you go, buddy. There. Good boy. <laughs> No, what do what's that? Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, that is the best looking bell we've ever caught. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it would be best for me just to go spoon with Fred. Look at that. Oh, that's an old, old half of a scissor. Check it out. Hope you guys can see that. Half of a scissor that's been in there since. And that, that is brand new. That's shiny. Completely workable. Look at that. What you got to say about it, boy? I ain't got a darn thing to say. <laughs> I had no idea. We have been chucking our magnets for forever now. Well, and uh, three minutes ago, I was getting ready to say, hey, let's just go to another dock. Right. And look who starts pulling stuff up. See? Ain't me. Don't give up. Just keep going. That's the thing. If you got to drive an hour out of your way and if you got to just keep chucking it, you never know. You, the thing is, here's the deal, and, and I'm sure you'll agree, you only cover so much area with this magnet. If you just keep chucking it, you're going to find something. Yeah, buddy. Keep chucking, Dad. Keep on a chucking, boy. I'm going swimming with Fred. <laughs> Hi, Frederick. Oh, yeah, Frederick. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Just give her a good send, Frederick. Oh, yeah. Notice he's not breaking or anything. I don't even have to tell him to stay anymore. Uh-huh. That trainer. Uh-huh. Old Charlie's doing his work. Doing the work on old Frederick. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, third dock of the day, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Fred, you've never been to this one. The wind's picking up. Sorry if it's a hair windy for you all. I'll try to keep you all out of it. But Dad and I have had a lot of good luck on this probably two years ago. We have not been back since. We're just going to get straight to it. Grab it. Yeah, it's not Dad's got something. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's a, that there's a fish cage. We better put it back, Dad. Wow. <laughs> yep, that is a environment, homemade environment for a fit for fish. That's not good. We better put it back. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah. You said it's moving. I got something hooked on here, Bob. <laughs> My rope was going, hey. <laughs> oh, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Woo, the wind's picking up. Hope you can hear me. This is going to be the last dock of the day. Going to be, in fact, the last dock of the day. And then we're going to hit the dam. Very slow day. What do you have to say for yourself? I lost. <laughs> oh, here we go. The wind is picking up a bunch. Wow. Well, I don't know what's going on here, buddy. Dad, he, uh, he thinks, oh, hold on, buddy. He thinks he found something. Nothing? Yeah, well, there's something here. I can see it. <laughs> Dad's working on something under there, Frederick. I don't know either, buddy. <laughs> well, what'd you get? He went, oh, and I'm like, I'm on my way. What do you got? What do you got? A piece for my collection. Oh, for your collection. Look at that. 
old blade bait. That's a really old blade. Wow, we. Well, there you go, buddy. At least I caught something. <laughs> we have been at it today, haven't we? We have. It's been a rough one. Uh, been a rough go today. Not as much luck as usual. It's it's. It shows the ups and downs, the highs and lows, and just have fun with it. Yep, gotta have fun. I'm glad we got Fred today to keep us company. Heel set, set. My bird, good boy. Well, we're letting Fred cool off real quick. Here, that's a good boy. Here, good boy, set, set, stay, stay. Fred! <laughs> he couldn't get any traction. Poor guy. There he goes. That'll cool him off for a minute. Oh, well, 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 we are here at the next spot. Like I said, it's a big old dam. Now, a lot of you from central Kansas, you probably know where I am. Fred, get back, get back. No, no, no. Sit. That's not cool. Gee, that scared me. Stay back, boy. A lot of you from central Kansas, like I was saying, probably know where I'm at. A lot of you have probably seen this dam. But a lot of people fish here, right up on here. The only bad thing is, is that it is a long ways down. It's every bit of a, what would you say, 15 foot drop? 15 to 20. How deep's the water right here? Well, it is rocky. You can get hung up here at ease. Uh, okay, well, we're going to give her a go, y'all. But if you like this spot, give us a thumbs up. Plus, there's another side, just like the uh, last dam that we did. There's another side to do on an, on the uh, on another video. So if you um, tell them, let them know. On another video, keep if you, watching. If you want to see it, let us know down below. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to say, Dad. Come on now, come on. Well, here we go. Woo -hoo. That's a long ways down there. Ooh, look at them big old snakes down there, Dad. Oh, those are huge. You see them? Oh. Right here on the edge, right here. Right here. Down there, Dad. Oh, man. Yeah. Yuck. Wow. I do not like snakes. Uh-uh. Wow. Uh-uh, boys. Wow. Yeah, he's wow. huge. He's huge. Well, that's what I did. I went ahead and tied my magnet off to this rail just so I won't lose it. So I'm going to have to start chucking it out there. Here we go. It might get interesting. Woo! Ready? Away she blows. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous, y'all. That's dangerous with a high-powered magnet. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, lots of rocks down there. Do we have anything at all? Piece of metal of some sort. Looked like a piece of metal from a can. Ah. What? Can you tell what I got on the end of my magnet? <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> well, he's all excited. What is it? Can you tell? Uh, oh, I see it now. You little sucker. Oh, you just beat me. Oh, thank goodness, though. We found something at the dam. Yes. Wow. Well, what is it? What brand you got there? It looks pretty new. Zebco 202. Zebco 202. That looks real new. Was, I bet you a kid. I bet that fell right off a kid's kid's rod. Oh, it, oh, it's broke. broke. It, it broke, broke and fell off. Uh, I might have dropped the whole deal. Huh? Right by that spillway, huh? That spillway right at the bottom. There's a deep hole right there. Oh, there is? Yeah, that's dug out a really deep hole. Gotcha. Well, good find, brother. Yeah. You got, that's the best find of the day. <laughs> oh, Frederick. Dad's in the lead, Fred. Dad's in the lead. I just chucked my magnet. I better bring her back in here. I got something on there. What is that? Got a piece of wire of some sort. Ooh, look at that. We got a can, part of a can, piece of wire, and that's in an old nail of some sort. Yep. Now, oh, and an, there's a hook. We got a hook. We got the hook. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I finally got it to the wall. Wow. I finally got it to the wall. Wow. Oh, I have been dragging something all the way out there. Like you guys seen, I've been chucking the magnet. I have been dragging something. My back is shot. You can kill his head. Oh my goodness. Here, you, you go. Do it for a minute. My back, see if you can lift. Can you lift it up? Oh yeah, you're moving it. <laughs> oh, hey, let me help. Hold up, hold up. My back's about gone. Oh, there it is right there. What is it? Oh, what is that? It's part of a motor. Oh my God. What in the... Oh, that's heavy. Wow. Oh. Right here, grab it right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy, howdy. My back is tore up. Wow. That is an intake manifold, no? Am I right? It is. Still got the firing order on it. I don't know if it's Chevy Ford, what is Yeah, it? Chevy Ford, what is that? Firing order 18436572. Oh my goodness. Wow. Why would that be that? in there? Just when we were getting ready to say the heads go. I on. was about ready just to wrap it up. It's been a long day. This is our, what, fifth? This is our sixth spot. There was two other spots that we didn't even film because we were I, we knew we weren't going to catch anything. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. An intake manifold. Y'all have to comment down below. Is that for a Ford or a Chevy? Uh, or a Dodge, I guess. It's the number on it. Got another number. What does that say? 411990. I don't know. You don't know, huh? Holy smokes, all my, uh, all my motor heads out there. What does that bad boy go to? Wow. Let us know down in the comments. Woof, I'm done. That's been, what time is it? Let's look. It is 4.10. We have been at it today for seven hours. seven hours. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a wrap y'all. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll meet you guys back at the truck. Can you even get it off there? Uh, you don't know. Oh, oh, yep, we're good. We're good. You look sweaty and hot. Sweaty, hot. You know, we didn't really, it wasn't a spectacular day. We caught a little trinklet, spoons, whatnot, but you got to spend the day with Fred. Yeah, that, that, that's a whole deal. We're out here on some random dirt road. Old Fred, he's still wet from his last swim. He's loving it. Just kicking it with the boys, I'm telling you what. That's what we're gonna do. Fred's doing so well at the trainer that the trainer Charlie, he was like, dude, feel free to take him during the day when he's not being worked and, and just work on regular, just like today. Having him sit beside me, lay down beside me, just do as told. He's doing really well. So be expecting the dog training videos to come, but check it out. Here's our finds for the day. A uh, bunch of random metal, just a bunch of random metal. Dad pulled it off with this Zeb code 202. Looks like it broke off of some, probably some, un, probably some kids pulled. Dog, There's a dog, lot of dog. snags down there. Yeah, there is. There's a bunch of rocks. Uh, Corona Bud Light. This bell was awesome. It was just one heck of a find today for me. Uh, Dad found a keychain with a soccer ball and <laughs> half pair of scissors a spoon that dad came through with a can pair of can openers that's pretty that's pretty legit there for dad <laughs> honestly that's, that's a pretty good find for the day random junk and this at the end the old intake intake who just launches an intake off a dam like that it's so, just that's some of the things you find it just bong, bogs your mind yeah it's, it's like, like why? why 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 people why why not you in particular oh and this too I found a piece of a power washer. That's what we've decided it's going to be. <laughs> but, in my opinion, honestly, that anything that I good. find that can go into a, I'm a collector now. Yep. I'm a collector. Anything that can go into a collection, yep. this is the winner that to me. That bell right there is pretty that's, good. That's this is winner. obviously cool. It's big, whatever. Still got the trolling motor in here though. We got to put it on the John boat. Yeah. But I want to thank you guys for being here. Without you guys, me and Dad, Fred, the three amigos, we wouldn't be out here doing this. Thank you all. Huge, huge, huge shout out to my notification squad. You all, you all comment before you even watch the video. 
y'all are amazing seriously and don't forget our ducks freedom waterfowl sale all the freedom gear that's ever been known to man at duckswaterfowl.com will be available and on sale for 15 percent off june 20th through july 5th do not miss that sale but subscribe if you haven't if you haven't hit the thumbs up please do so for dad and i thumbs up guys come on but until next time set no, he just misses dad. That's all right. We won't do the piece today, buddy. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism.